Sad day. Oh, I can't take it any farther. Eh! No! I'll sit fine. I can sit. I'm totally human. <laughs> the police invitation. Oh wait, didn't Jack also just pass out in Alice's apartment last time we were playing? It's only cut off, right? Yeah. Also. Hello, Miss Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Why is the fire so loud? You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. Can I just. Real quick, can I turn down? Thanks. Oh, the fire is so loud. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. <laughs> okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize you for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. Key. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. Fire still I've got really a lot well. more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd I like, like that. A, instead of 40 thing. <laughs> Maybe it's just a weird colloquialism that I'm not understanding. Because, like, everyone down south calls everyone darling or sweetie. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. Mm -hmm. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try sure. rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, uh -huh. Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Okay, I'm Jack again. Alright, I was confused. Why is this the loudest fire? <laughs> Why are you so loud? Thanks for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R and R I get for some time. Maybe it's just a colloquialism of his then. Am I supposed to be down? I didn't even look at this. I didn't I didn't even look. I didn't, I didn't even look. What am I doing? Pay Curtis Benson. Got it. Go. Excellent. Have it circled even. Man, look at you, Jack. You're on top of things. I'm not, but hey, you are. Take it. <gasps> Baby doom.
I do it. Meow. <laughs> I mean, oh god, no. I don't know. Like, I like the 40s cars, so it's been kind of a nice part of this game, but. Mm, if it was like 60s, 70s, I'd like it way more. Really like those 70s. With the, um, the tail fins. I like them. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's go see if we can take down the big corruption in LA. Well, one of the big corruptions in LA. Back in the day. Which apartment is Benson's? Jack, look at the... Yeah, Jack, over here. Good job. Benson. Number two. Got it. Alright. I guess we're just never playing coal again? I don't know. Apartments two and three. Eh, Nick, Nick. Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. <laughs> You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. No, no, we Move can't. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. What's your inopportune smooth, time? Curtis, I'll give you that. You have no pants on. You try to get me killed Starter. and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. I can't put up with your shit, Curtis. He ain't a cop. You play by a whole different set of rules when you're not a cop. For example, I don't need a warrant. I don't need your damn permission. I could just go through your stuff. Nothing in it? Okay. Two cups? What you got here with you, Jack? Huh? Hey, Jack. Pay attention, there's two cups. Who's with you? How oh, hello. Princess. Sixteen. Ew. Ew. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. Oh, it's even grosser. Ew. Eight showers. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That's that has nothing to do with love, Shoot Curtis. Him. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find Jesus them very tiring. Killing. You're Kill finished, Curtis. Kill him. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Oh, but wait. Get her some Get dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. <laughs> He's kind. And he buys me nice things. <laughs> Get dressed, you're leaving. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes tops. So like whatever. Spent like millions of dollars on she me. She will only come back. You're a sick, pervy old man, and you need bits cut off. Bits. It's Thirteen. What's wrong with you, man? It's fucking gross. God. You're gross, and you're disgusting, and I kind of want to really stab you now. Even 16, I was cringing just because of the, like, what, 40 year age gap? What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I don't know. I already found a freaking child in your bed. What's here? What's this? Can I smash the flute? I'm pretty sure it's a champagne flute. And then I stab it with it. That's probably hers. Just 
leave groceries out and put away. God, look, Curtis, you are lazy. What was I good here? Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Get out while you can. Did I just put my gun on him. No. Damn it. <laughs> Rude. Whoop. All I want to do was shoot him in the face. I don't know. He wouldn't let me. Let's see, fire and life. In consideration of the premium of eleven hundred dollars, one thousand one hundred five dollars to be paid per annum or per year, ensures Elysian Fields developments against all losses or damages occurring to Rancho Escondido that they just burned down. Located at uh, fifty. What exactly do you expect to find, Fountain Jack? Avenue, and they, shut up, Curtis. I'm reading. In an amount not exceeding two hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Sign a witness by an official. Now I know why. On the 26th day of February, 1947. Yeah. So it's the big wigs. They're always in bed together. Nope, nope. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the you paper can. trail. Uh, okay. This certifies that Curtis is the owner of 2,000 shares of the, or 2,000 shares of the per value of $100, each fully paid and non-usable capital stock of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, subject to the memorandum and the Shields Association of the said company. So anyway, these are just uh, stock certificates. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Not two of them, huh? Two, uh, Curtis Robert Benson? Yeah, two for 2,000. One on the eighth. Oh, they're both on the eighth. Shares at $100 each. So he spent $20,000 in 1947 money, which was. If I remember, it was like quite a bit. Of, it was a like huge, and because there's been a huge amount Jack, of inflation. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Shot. Up Get out while you can. Literally, hit you in the face again, and then I left. 1947, money to 2021. Pull up that handy dandy nifty calculator again. So I'm confused. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo. That's my calculator. Where's that calculator at? What exactly there do you is. expect okay, to so find, you Jack? Spent twenty because you spent two thousand. Each one's a hundred dollars, so that's twenty thousand each. So that's actually four. And he's got two of them, so that's forty thousand dollars in nineteen forty-seven. That's worth like four hundred, four hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars today. That's a lot of fucking money. Yeah, inflation's fun. <laughs> Oh, you're definitely in bed with them. That's always fun. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. I'll literally kill you. Get out while you can. But I just punch you in the face over and over again for... Well, I don't know. She's 13, that's still rape. For raping a 13-year-old. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. No nonsense. Please, no Jack. Go. I'm not a violent man. You're just an old pervert in the pedo. So me bits cut off. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You wanna fucking fight me on it? Do I have anything to accuse him on? Hmm. What is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Fucking sick, dude. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. 
business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? I mean, I have, I have this. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Uh, Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? <laughs> you smug son of a bitch. You're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. Yeah, because you're fucking literally a per... How's that? I only approve the reports, Jack. Uh, I'm the rubber stamp. Your lumber should have been that. This doesn't come back to me. I literally hate you. I'd rather just very me, Curtis. Eye. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. He's just a cheat. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Can I just shoot him? Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Punch him. Not at all. Punch him. You know they're coming after you. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> Aww. Jack, you should have shot him. You'd have felt so much better. Also, I'm really bad at interrogation, I've learned. <sighs> you should have shot him, Jack. You know, you'd felt better. You know that? You would have felt so much better just by shooting him in the face. <laughs> That's a little murder. I mean, psh. Whatever. It's just a little murder. God, Kelso, don't die. I'm actually starting to like you. You're a bit of a dick, but, you know. Olive oil comes from I'm just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Say, could I borrow some of that mascara? Who the hell are you talking to, lady? <laughs> Probably the ghosts. Don't worry about it. She's talking to the girls right now. Pay attention to that. I don't know why. Investigate it? Okay. Yeah, if you turn all this evidence over to the police. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, hallway, two closets, another bedroom, another closet, that's the top floor. Bottom floor. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west.
There's got to be more in these files. Hey. Ugh, stupid train. While in the employee of Elysian Fields Development, Louis Jan Buckwalter was killed There's in the roof of the else property in that report. In which he I know it. Approximately 8 30 in the morning on Tuesday, the 20th of January. He was assigned the roof structure of a property in the Normandy Avenue development when a fault in the ridge beam caused it to sag. Witnesses report that he slipped and returned to right himself. The rafter broke. Approximately fell 23 feet to the ground. Uh, his cranium was shattered. He sustained significant internal injuries due to the falling timber. Died of internal hemorrhage approximately 10 minutes after the initial roof collapse. Normandy Avenue, Sim Division. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Yeah, that is a little weird. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Yeah. Have a seat, Cole. A little awkward. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? <laughs> it's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? Little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semperfy. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? Because he's got I limits. Thought a PI might be a little more discreet. Look, I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Did you really want to work for a corrupt pedo? Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me. This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. There's a bigger play going on, Jack. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. This is bullshit. It, Jack. I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. <sighs> Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> The Hall of Records is the place to start. So who am I playing as now? I'm confused. <laughs> Mr. Jack? Am I cold now? Is it in that case? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Everything I've learned so far is completely different. It is weird though, because if it's only valued at $900, you're insuring it for 3500 That's, what, three? Almost four times its value. And usually it's the opposite way on insurance. It's usually val or insured cheaper than the house is worth. I have the hiccups now. It's sad. Oh, isn't that where that- Yeah! Hello there. Maybe that's where we came with the black dolly. You need some help there, sir? Because remember there was this big- Chandelier thingy, big, and Cole climbed on top of it, and the whole thing shattered. And we got really—I got really nervous. I thought Cole was gonna die. The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Be nicer. 
Jack, come, come the fuck down. Oh, there were just hidden shields around. Right. I like how they only have signs for what I'm looking for. <laughs> no other signs at all. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. As is my Just right as a way. citizen. Public records are a thing. If you're ever wondering what's going on, see if you can find some public records for it. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. <sighs> suburban Stanford still. Um, is this sucker, sucker bud? I thought you said suckerland. Like, ha, suckerland. Suburban redevelopment fund. Got it. All right. Uh, six twenty-two forty-five. Monroe Fletcher Bowrand. Don Senior, William, Curtis Benson, Raymond Gordon, Dr. Harlan Fontaine, Courtney Sh Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Courtney, God, that was... Courtney. Did, guys... For God's sake. Shit, I remember Courtney now, because we were got to victim do it, when the adultery crime came out. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. Yeah, it's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Yeah, well. Come with me. I mean, fair, you just have the coordinates. It's going to make it a bit more difficult than the address. I believe that is in the Wilshire area, here. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? How do I do that? <laughs> Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. Oh, Jesus. Why all the math, dude? What the hell? 1876988. Divided Ooh. by. Oh, 90,000, yes. Eight, seven. I don't know the number again. Give me the fucking number. <laughs> what was it again? Okay, it was one, one, one eight seven six nine seven three. One eight seven six nine seven three. One eight seven. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand. Yes. So it's eight 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 eight. Oh my god! Oh. It's kind of annoying. I have to use a joystick for that because. 90, 900, 9, 1,876,988 divided Where's by 90,000. Do I hit the thingy? How do I work? 20. Okay, what's the 20th of the 20. alphabet? 20. A starts at zero, so you want oh, to add one zero. to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once uh. you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Okay. So it's A and then B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. So I need to find U. Do 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 do. I can do things. Okay. Hey Jack, should be somewhere here. 
Let's see what the site is worth to them. God. Oh, I would love to work here, but like it would be so annoying sometimes, but one eight seven six nine eight eight. Randall Jones. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. Yeah, that's insane. How do they pull it off? That's not good. Why? Why? The record place did nothing Don't bad. Don't for the caddy. The extra trunk space. You're literally horrible. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Damn it. Come on. You. Pop. You can walk out of here or go out there. No. Bullet holes. Alright, alright, let's bullet holes. This chair helps my back, but it's not the most comfortable thing to sit in. Oh. Know why I plunk for the caddy? Because you don't know the shut up. Space. Yeah, you don't One thing up. you learn in the war, boys! You do your talking once the smoke clears! What the hell? I was behind cover. How'd I get shot? Must be somebody on my freaking three that I'm not seeing. Oh, come on. Why do you have to punish me by making me go over the same cutscene? Know why I plump for the caddy? Oh my god. I'm the extra sorry. Trunk space. I'll be better. Just leave me alone. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Jack, that was cool the first time, not the third. Aha! Alrighty. Throw him off! How long do you think you can hold out? Oh, I see you. Weapons on the ground now. Christ, just missed. My hat again. <laughs> oh, my hat, though. Oh my God. Well, it's all coming to a head now. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. Yeah, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor? The district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Come on, Courtney. Do the right thing. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. No, they're not, though. I turned a mistake into something 
beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Oh, that's kind of shitty. If that's the truth, that's pretty shitty. Hmm. I don't know, though. Didn't we want to get Courtney on something? Oh, for the morphine, that's right. Actually, don't know. You keep the phone, Jack. There you go. You keep the phone. Jack Calso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering mm. when you'd get around to calling. I also know that actor. I'd like from to somewhere. meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet oh, you would, Mr. Monroe. Home. But I value my skin highly enough to not oh, want to meet things. with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around, and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Not already circled now. We want to set that as our destination here. Oh boy. I do know the actor that plays Leland though. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. <clears throat> like I don't know him personally. I've just seen him in a lot of stuff. Do do do. He's gonna try to pay Jack off, and when he can't pay him off, he'll kill him. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I hope you called Cole in. I appreciate the help, all of you. Oh, never mind that. We can reminisce later. Uh, well, I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Also, what the hell is with this house? This is, this is so extravagant. Keep on going, Jack. That's a kill! We go down a little bit more quickly, thank you. You think you can hold out? Come on, pop up. Pop up. No. Nope. somebody. Come on. One. Nice. Oh. Cool. Oh. Oh. 
here, get back to cover. Got the bastard. Move up. Got one coming down this side. Somebody fire on the shot. Open ground, Jack. Did Kill nothing up. wrong. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead. Somewhere. There you are. You're moving, Mr. You can walk out of Man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Oh, Jack. Hope you and your voice skip town off of this. This is what I'm good at. I'm moving, I'm moving. Take your time. All the bullets. Okay. Also, like, what? Like, I mean, the more I see this house, the more I really want to punch him in the face. This is far too much. There he is! Don't mind how my guard up. I'll kick that door in too. Fuck him. Fuck him in his nice house. A stupidly nice house. No one needs a house this nice. You're. D <sighs> Don't make me shoot you. You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So, how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Fair, she shot you. Ew, God, you should I probably didn't get that. I think you had the guts, sweetheart. Taken, you know, care of real quick. I was never very good at reading women. Let's just ban let's just banish that real quick. Can we, can we that real quick? Monroe, real quick? where are you? Damn it! Oh, why is he? This is why it's such a big house. All the high holes. <laughs> How long do you think you can hold out? Right in the dick. Okay. <laughs> nope. Nope. My hat's long gone. Alright, well. Yikes. Where am I getting shot at from now? Oh, they're upstairs. Okay, let's see if they move around so I can- Your move, them. mister! Come and get yeah, me! Yeah, they do. Gotcha. Here's a tip. Make sure your cover is solid. If there's a hole, It'll get exploited. Exploited. It, words. English is a thing I can speak. Okay, no on that side. Okay. Get a little smart about this. Price is not a gold one. Also, why do you need the floor of the shrine that you can see the ceiling? Who who needs something that crazy? You don't need any of this, Leland. 
Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Bitch. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. And we'll just kill them all. Hey, I like Jack's idea. Oh, hey. Anything in this? The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Oops. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Mm, no. <laughs> Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Oh, is he going to kill Courtney? Oh, shit. Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. Oh, no, you cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Oh, Be no. still, Courtney. <clears throat> oh, Courtney. All the troubles are finally over. You just, you made a really bad choice by confronting him, Courtney. Hmm. Hmm. Never confront someone you suspect of having a crime. Report it to the police. Away. Oh, now I feel bad. We got Courtney killed. But he also kind of burned those people in their fire. He was setting the fires and stuff, so I'm like, hmm. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Courtney. I'm so sorry. That was... my, my... Oh. Hey, you're really stupid. You opened that up for me. Thanks. What's this? Dr. Harlan Fontaine is implicated in the supply and distribution of narcotics in the greater LA County area. In his capacity as a clinical psychiatrist, he has dispensed large quantities of contraband morphine to drug dealers and users under the pretext of prescribing treatment for his patients. Between July 18th and September 3rd of 1947, 22 suspects arrested for narcotic possession claimed the drugs were medications given to them to alleviate the symptoms of various psychiatric illnesses. Several were shown paperwork to this effect. No pattern was noticed by arresting officers, however, and no further action was taken since each charge amounted to no more than a misdemeanor and the suspects were processed across four subdivisions, Central, Hollywood, University, and Highland Park. I shut up. You are so noisy, Monroe. Could you die quieter, please? Thank you. On September 7, 1947, after a lengthy interrogation, suspect Reginald Barclay offered the name of an associate he only knew as Doc Fontaine. See interview transcript 5.10.0704747. Barclay stated that Fontaine was the selling party in a deal he broke with Willie Baines Foster, yet to be apprehended. Foster is known to the LAPD Administrative Vice as a high-ranking career for Mayor Meyer Harris Cohen. On August 29th, again on September 6th, and then again on September 12th, 1947, Dr. Fontaine visited a men's 
haberdashery on Sunset Boulevard, a haberdashery known to be owned and operated by Mayor Meyer Harris Cohen. Uh, on all three occasions, Dr. Fontaine was inside for more than an hour. Two days after his final visit, on September 14th, a shipment of morphine with a street value of $4,000 was moved from a house in Brentwood to an east downtown warehouse, whereupon it disappeared. It is, of the, it is the opinion of this officer that Dr. Colin Fontaine is a significant figure in the supply and distribution of narcotics in L.A. with close ties to organized crime. I recommend that he be kept under close surveillance until such time as a comprehensive legal brief can be assembled. Yours sincerely, Roy Earl, Chief Detective and Advice. Even Roy was... God damn it, Roy. Roy! Roy, why? <coughs> Ooh. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Hello. Can I take some of that cash? You see any little black book? Roy Earl. That's a hell of a payroll. 450. Damn. Uh, Warrell gets 1200. Stanley gets 900 a month, I'm the guess. For 900. Colmer, 750. Bramlett, 1100. Harry Sumner, 150. In April, Sandler, 900. Roy Earl again, 450. Colmer, Royal. So these guys are getting paid pretty regularly. Roy got paid December 4th. And then again in May, so that's six months. And then again in September, so that's three months. You are very- you're dying very loudly, Leland. I want you to be quieter, please. You interrupted my reading at least twice. That's rude. That's fucking rude. Okay. It's rude. Can I talk to him yet? Or do I need to go sit in his chair? What do I need to do here to talk to him? Oop. Is there something I missed in here? No? That's the chair certificate. There was nothing extra in here, was there? Nope. Ah, Roy got corrupted. Nope. missing there. <coughs> it says I'm missing something. What am I missing? I can't click anything else. Smart. Ah, Keep the dirt is. on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. I don't know why it took so long to... Now we're good? Nope. No, no, I want his desk. Yes. Morelli, Stephen, Goldstein, Nelson. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's really? too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! The Emperor Operator, put me through to Phelps. Very arson limited squad. power now after Hirohito. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. Did he kill Elsa? It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. 
Okay. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Okay. <laughs> Do you want my final okay. offer, Leland? Is it book Tell me there? how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> it has been dismantled the old fashioned way. Exactly. Well, I mean, I don't. See, here's the thing, right? Like, obviously the law wasn't going to catch him because the police chief was on it. So, you know, like, they did what they did. Any news from Jack? There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side ready to help him. Christ, Ooh, what was that? that? Shit, that's Explosion. a mushroom cloud. Something big. <laughs> Think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H bomb on us? Oh yeah, shit. Calm down. What's going on? We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can yeah. give us the details on the no, way. No, I forgot the Cold War's literally going on right now. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, people, they, they panic, you know, that's what normal thing, you know. car 88K reports an explosion downtown, repeating 88K is reporting an explosion. What the hell? Absolutely fireproof. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> we have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Yeah, I'd rather cuff them. You get loot! Cuffed, you little prick! Get that bastard, Cole! Now ain't the time to be looking for a profit, asshole! Yeah, right? Like, ugh, I hate losers. Okay, he's shooting at me, so he dies. You sorry son of a bitch! Sorry, don't shoot at the police. We won't shoot back. They won't shoot back. Well, usually. Like, if you have a gun in your hand, the commander that feels like his life is... Let's go. Life's in danger. I mean, you know. Jesus. I'd never seen nothing like Holy this. Holy... I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Mm, yeah, you were in Japan. We gotta find out what went down. Somewhere? Dealing with looters. What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, Thank we'd God. all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the oh, remains yeah. of Nicholson 40. electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, brother. God rest in peace. Poor people.
Mal, you got anything for me? No, just a very sad corpses. Thank God. Well, yeah, it's not a nuclear, at least. That's Jesus. it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. Get better with practice. That maybe goes for me, too, son. Should have played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as, I think this uh, is going to help us. Very resolute. Burner. This is a busy street, okay? Jesus, well, what kind of bomb would have made it go off like that? Like it. Sweet heavens. Oh. I don't actually know like, literally anything about bombs. <laughs> the nickel boom. That's the. Oh, I know. Plus, this is like 40s bomb tech, so. Doesn't look like anything. I, I mean, yeah, it's so nice, too. Break. It's pretty shiny. In good condition. You can find yourself matching the right size pool. Hey, you got your pair of shoes. Fuck. 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 <laughs> this one, I wonder if this is what it was like on, you know, the 9 11. I bet worse. I mean, way worse because bigger buildings than this. They, the. The initial what the fuck happened. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? BMW. Back to get Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Wasp major? Maybe. Ugh. What's this? Don't think this is anything. Phelps! I think I found something over here. Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. Jesus. The looks of somebody. It's insane. So I don't know how they did it in the forties, but like Detective, happens, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Like nowadays, they have to like it, everything gets like gritted off and they have to sift through all the bones and try to Oh god, it's a nightmare when this stuff happens. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, let's start this way. Tomoko Akamato. Tomoko Akamato. Japanese name. It means nothing. <laughs> Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. A little camera. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Okay, so maybe he might be a. Well, I mean, it's after the war. What is it? You know, the. A substitution cipher. Are really close. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Yeah. Maybe. I used them in OCS. I know exactly what to do with them. <sighs> first letters of the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Eight. I 
think so that means I think like I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing it this way outer wheel is the first little decipher okay so Nope, I have it wrong. I think, maybe. Unless it's... Like if it's encrypted and then... Encrypted again, or it doesn't mean what I think it means. O... J... L... K... Oh no, it's a, it's a street. Q... XSB. Avenue. I don't need to finish it, I know. But North Vermont Avenue. Okay. It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. <sighs> well, I guess we go there. I mean, I don't want to be like instantly 100%. Yeah, it's because he's definitely a spy, but like, I don't know if Japan would still have spies or not after the Great Defeat, if they call the Great Defeat. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there were some people who could have go if they lost. I have no idea. You don't get to learn much about the Japanese or the Pacific Theater, you know, in school when it comes to World War II. I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. He's insured at all? But anyway, so you, you don't get to learn about the Pacific Theater. Everything they teach you in school is about the Holocaust and the European Theater. And it's not only really about one section of the European Theater, because we skiv over, right over Mussolini. Cause he like got killed by the Italians real quick. Mainly we focus about Hitler. We don't really look at Japan except for Pearl Harbor. <laughs> it's kind of <sighs> I don't say ignorant. It's um presumptive or whatever. It's it's wrong that we don't focus on like I don't know both sides, all of it, whole thing. Maybe a little bit broader. Holocaust was horrible, but like other things happened too. We should know about. I don't know. Okay. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. What, what new process? And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Okay, look. I need you to tell me. We'll need a word. Has anyone accounted for him yet? Not that I've heard, no, but... Look around you, kid. I mean, Do you like his chances? It's probably not. I guess it could have been evil, but like... <sighs> Who is Tomiko Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. By whom? By Dr. McClellan. He insisted I hire her. I know what you're going to say. But you don't look a gift horse in a mouth, do you? Well, I got, I got dang it, I should be meaner. God. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. I mean, could, could it have been explosive? So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a was a trained chemist and his ideas could revolutionize electroplating mm. and you would be rich i'm a businessman what's wrong with turning a buck you blew up six blocks and god knows how many people are dead i regret that that's laudable 
We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. Uh, the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Let's figure it out. Well, oh, I need to get the um. Oh, I need to hit up the phone, but to get the laundry service. You can drive. You drive. Thanks. It's always bad if I drive. You think Glom went up in smoke? Is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tamako Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Nope. Not yet. But I'm working on it. Because there's the thing, like, who really knows right now until the... I don't know if the coroner can ID the bodies. I mean, maybe if they have dental records on file for them, but that'd be it. Because our teeth are about as unique as fingerprints and DNA. I don't know. Well, they might be able to get DNA records, but they'd have to have their DNA on file to match it. It's the whole thing. <laughs> oh, there's a phone out here. Oh, cool. Here? One thirty six this What? Are you sure? Here? Oh, okay. Number one. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Uh figure it out, I guess. Oh, we're not the first ones here. Uh, please don't want to be the Holy! Hi! Somebody turned the place over. <laughs> Jesus. The better one. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting <laughs> shoved in a fridge, Herschel. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if I could fit in there. Alright, let's see. First start with the arms. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always yeah, wanted one Lindbergh. as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Grew up that poor, huh, buddy? That's rough. That shouldn't be a thing anymore, but it still is. Could be a class ring. Maybe. You got shot. Well, no, 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 no. The middle, middle, up. One to the head, one to the heart. heart. Point blank. I don't. Know. John Doe, huh? Well, we'll have to call him Corner. Maybe that's McClellan or whatever. Operator, message for KGPL. What Malno? Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size, and it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P and W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Should we not report the corpse to the coroner? Is that not a thing we're gonna do? I mean, yes, he's a little busy, but like, he should probably know, hey, 
there's another stop you need to make. So he was shot. He was standing about there with the blood all the way to where the blood's standing right there. So he's standing about there and then got shot and then slumped over. Los Diablos. Maybe if. No. Oh, look, really loud fire gun. Ooh, what's that? You're tired. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. If that's a retired cop in the fridge, that's gonna really irk a lot of people. Pretty sure cops get kind of upset when you just, you know, kill other cops, retired or not. Hey, one of those little bell things. Looks like we have a match. Hey, those are dame, cool. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. Microfilm. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Mm-hmm. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Get a microfiche. Can I not do any of that? I just... Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Like a scale or something? I wonder if that's off her camera and that's the new thing that they're getting. The new, uh, the new, um, process. Excuse me, Herschel. You're stuck anyway. See, Herschel called the body in. Well, alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Let's eat the laundry, I guess, and that's it. <gasps> You're behind the wheel. Bad, I'm wondering if the suburban is the I just wouldn't put anything past them now. They killed Courtney. Poor Courtney. Did you see his lovely wife and children in the paper? What a rat. Cole, look. Just got a point though. <laughs> what do you need? I need... Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Fair. He is working this whole thing alone. That rack was full. He's got machines running. It's totally fair. I'd... Probably stressed out. The number was uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No, it's pickup. No. Dead end. Jackets and shirt. Hmm. Yeah, no, Thank like... you for all your help, sir. Good to go away. I'm busy. I'm running business, Cole. Busy man. They've been polite? Yeah, sure. But you know what? When they're stressed out and you ask them to do more work, they just snap. It just happens. Operator, give me R and I. <clears throat> Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Fix that. 
I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. Um, So it's okay. a military part. Could be, Corsair but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. I'm on the phone. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, detective. Sorry. Thanks. That's a bit of a dead end. All right, come on, Herschel. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Also, I want to bet, like, while he's out and all those explosions going on, that's when Elsa gets kidnapped. Because we got to remember, she's still kidnapped. But it was, like, that night or something. I think. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. Why am I driving? This is a bad idea. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuckpads for Hughes's starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Follow me. Not even surprised. I'm gonna take photography. Look, I just need. Good day, miss. He's AR impressive. Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the Spruce Goose. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. Do you mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. Fucking right. I have a... Is so I'm supposed to play him here? Not helpful. But you have heard of the company? Sure. We're in manufacturing. We work with suppliers. I don't know if that was the right thing or not. No, I need to be an asshole. Got it. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. Did Hughes have a contract with Nicholson? Hey, kid, lose the tone. Hughes has contracts with every plating shop in L.A. Hmm. We'd like to discuss these contracts with Mr. Hughes. 
<laughs> this kid's a riot, Biggs. See Howard Hughes? Harry Truman has to make an appointment to see Howard Hughes. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Oh, God. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? And her? No, we will. First, we're going to cut this room into little bit sections here. Section's done. I'm not going up any stairs or anything yet. I'm just gonna go section by section. Get a load of these engines. You think that hey, cone could have come off one of them? Maybe. I don't think you're wrong. Too often I beat there, Herschel. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Interesting. Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. Why don't we gotta go inside? Let's see if we would have missed this had we not come all the way back. Anything around this block, hunk? Nope, I'm okay about this. Choo 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 no no dingy doodles. No dingy doodles here. Here. Hi, kitty. Here, here. I mean, yeah, we'll definitely go check out his office. And I want to check out the inside of the spruce goose. Alcott's linseed mm. oil. Okay. McClellan's process was going to replace all this. Mm hmm. If anyone knows anything about aeronautics, do you still do they still use linseed right. oil? I have no idea. Latitude 24 degrees 15 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees 0 minutes west. That's weird. Six degrees west. Four fifteen. Twenty one degrees. Right in here. Fifteen minutes north. What? Yeah. Seventy six degrees west. Oh, I'm looking. Oh, 21 I see. Twenty one degrees. Fifteen minutes north. Oh, I have it backwards. That's what I'm doing. Let's see where this is exactly. Some place in the Bahamas. Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. I'm not gonna enter. Okay, so planning a trip to the Bahamas.
think I checked all that. Did I talk to CIA? Yeah, I did. Can't go up these stairs. Alright. Can I go up these ones? Can I get up here at all? Search the second hunk, the top hunk. Oh, I can just walk out on top of the thing. Oh shit! I didn't know that. That's cool. Anything over here? Over here. Nope. Okay. A lot of linseed oil, though. I mean, as much as that takes, it's insane. If McClellan's process would have gotten rid of it, that's a lot of money that Alcott's would have been losing. Itchy hit. That corner, Herschel. Do you mean up, maybe? Yeah, this one? Yes, I want to be here. Ooh, a goon. Probably nothing. I mean, fair. It's just a gun, and it is America, so, yeah. You won't know, see guns like that much, much often in California anymore, though. Why do they look like, um,. Thick stash. That is Marie the Body McDonald. The Sues have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Probably. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. I kind of like Herschel. He's just old, crusty detective. Should have been stopping your wife. <laughs> I'm leaving alone, but good lord, cheating like really does bug me. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? I mean, we gotta go here. I don't have the other unknown address. Can't drive to an unknown address. Doesn't work that way. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. But this would never go all the way up to Hughes. We would have middlemen dealing with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Here. 
return. Okay, I return. Oh, I'm gonna go find Pinker. That's right. Uh, shit. I should bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Any messages for me, Hopkins? Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out mostly. Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. There shouldn't be a popularity contest. I mean, I know it always ends up being that way, but... Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. I'm up so aware, Roy. I, I hit talk. Can we just can we just fucking talk to him, please? Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody Fair tries enough. to stay out of politics. Oh, Ray. Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. That's the guy. Looking for here. Bringing the watch or a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex dirty cop. And business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Ma did Mapes kill a guy in order to get McClellan's bed for himself? Eliminate the competition. Chemical polishing bath. Preferred embodiment of chemical bath. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan. Too bad they blew the place to hell. C4 H603. Why do I know that? Is that glucose? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is HCl, and then they've got four oxygens bound to that. And H2O is water. Sit for. One to two minutes in forty to fifty degree. Um, due to the chemically unstable nature of the above mentioned compounds, all due care must be taken monitoring the temperature at which the solution is kept. Yeah, it makes sense. Prior to the immersion, the aluminum alloy work pieces must be cleaned, preferably in either an organic solution of the hal halogenated type or in a mild alkaline solution. I mean, you know you've made it's actually back to chemistry way. from like years ago. Um, the work place, work pieces, work piece is then rinsed in water at room temperature. Okay, that's interesting actually. Well, hello, is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? West. West what?
Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the petri dish. I love how the corner just like dipped behind and took cover like I oh. don't. Perchloric acid, it's HClO4. Oh, and linseed oil and. Oh, oh, perchloric acid. Is that why the coroner took cover? It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same Stop trick it. to me about an I hour ago. Up the Stop. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion. I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll put you down. Just don't. I need you to not tense because if you get put down wrong, you can get hurt. Oh, I'll put you away from Raja. There you go. That was your problem. They're fighting. <laughs> I don't know about what, though. I missed that whole thing because it got distracted me. Blame her. You stink by leaving in a bath. You smell bad. What was I doing? Investigate house and photograph. How the hell are we gonna do that? Oop, not this way. Not the door I entered from. <laughs> oh well. You know the way. You can drive. Go, yeah, drive to the house and then we'll figure that the whole situation out. I love how she was fine and then I pick her up and she gets sees, sees that male cat's laying there, Raja, and she's just like, I'm instantly mad. Don't put me closer to him. I hate him right now. Knock, knock. This place stinks of petroleum. Leave that door open. I have gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Wait, why right there? Did we just interrupt an arson? Kind of looks like we interrupted an arson. What are they trying to cover up then? Someone die? Miami Angstrom is flying today on TWA. Angstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Angelica Angstrom. Oh, and Daniel. Oh, no! Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. Oh. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Grab the passport. Grab the passport. Grab the passport. Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole! We're out of here! Where the hell am I looking at? Oh. Go, go, go. Shit. Really hurts. 
get through, get through. Smoke will kill you the more than the fire will. Fuck. You motherfucker. There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. Oh, I can't break through the fucking fences because they're like magical. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. Shit! You security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Okay. One traffic stop coming up. I might have just lost him with that fucking car. Oh my god! The driving. <laughs> The fucking driving in this game. It's just driving period. I really suck at it. But this is like... I'm used to like GTA physics where you just pretty much break everything. And it's fine. That's why I didn't watch Dogs Legion. That is not the case here. Fuck. There you are, shit heel. Come on. He's not getting away from us. <laughs> concrete apparently in this freaking city. Don't go to sleep on me! Get in close! What the hell did I hit? Like, no, legitimately, what the hell did I hit? What the hell? I fucking can't take anything down. Me if the ass. This is so fucking aggravating. I cannot hit a single thing. It's so one thing I'm not gonna miss about this game. <laughs> fucking driving pits. <sighs> what? It's got your attention. What are you staring at? Should I be concerned? Fuck. There, there you are, there. shit heel. Come on, okay, he's not getting away from us. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're seeing it, go for now. I don't, I don't have time. All right, we got, we got other shit to do. Move the fuck out of the way! God damn it, you fucking idiot! Oh, I think I'll just freaking mailbox, that's nice. Uh, get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the road. You don't ever want to run into the road. Like these idiots. I'm gonna kill every single one of you. Where my sirens are going. There's no reason to be doing that. It's no good! We need to get closer! I'm working on it, Herschel. Okay. Shit! You secure! 
security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Okay, I can take out the white post. Good to know, good to know. I can't take out something. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps! I was gonna literally screw the whole mission if I didn't stop, Herschel. to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. Dude, this shot probably really hurts, Cole. It's like a whole thing. Logging this one over here. So I we gotta get the run. Guys. And then get down. Okay, because there's a guy behind us. Okay. There's this one's on him. To play cat and mouse, fine. Let's go and get his ass. All right, sounds good to me. Hey. Bitch, here. Worse than a war zone. Him from this distance. Uh, nope, nope. Out. Go around. Come on. Lay down some covering fire. Shit. Really hurts. My god, I'm killing so many people today. You're fucking toast. Cover!
we're good. Find some cover! Get in cover, now! How are you still alive? I've shot you so many times. What are you doing? You're so What the hell? Okay. Shit. It really hurts. Here. Nope. No, Paul, don't do that. Not helpful. Yeah. So up here? Nice. He's fucking glitched. <laughs> Shot him in the butt. I killed him. That's really fucked up. Though. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he yep. blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. So there's a few bad apples. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and Half the city exploding. You might just have made the case of the decade. That might do him some good. I don't know. I don't know. That's my. That's, we got one more case, and then we're done with the game. So. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you, too, Elsa. Uh, you look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? 
He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. Are you gonna die, Elsa? Hey, doctor. Elsa, leave. It's cold in here, Elsa. Elsa, leave now. I think I'll close the window. Go now. Run. Run like right Why now. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? Oh my god, you Elsa, leave. To work at You're stressing me out. Field. Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. Any potion? I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <sighs> I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. Here, kill him! <laughs> Give that man a medal. That's uh, that's self-defense defending Elsa. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next slide. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure what the rules are. You know what? She's still. I don't want her dead. Like I'm not thrilled that Cole cheated on his wife for Elsa, but like, I don't want Elsa dead. Either, you know, it's not like she's she's not totally blameless on it, but she's also not totally at fault. Ugh. The whole thing is such a weird I don't know. This is the last case. It's gotta be one of these places. The arsonists a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Doctor Stoy. Doctor. Let's just let's just work our way down the list. I have to get out and then get back in. That's ridiculous. Okay, so. Distress. I think the earthness from what we were seeing in the newspapers was Courtney, which is really sad because Courtney's dead now. But and I guess Jack and his crew are just literally going down, murdering the people in the um, redevelopment fund, which I'm <sighs> with. Like, like murder's wrong, but they're not going to get prosecuted by the law because they bought the law. So. Well, and also it would take, get taken apart. It's, it's gray, Help you? Gray area. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean... What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut, shut up. up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough 
or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Fuck you, Roy. I never did like you, you're a freaking piece of shit. Um, I really hope you just, I don't know, I kinda want him dead. But, you know, locked up for life would be great too. Oh, I didn't have an explication mark. I have to get back out of my car, and then get back in the car, and then I can leave. <laughs> That's a step we're all missing. You, you get in the car, you go where you're going, right? Get back out of the car, and then get back in the car. <laughs> if you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. I was opening their door too. Fuck it, why not? All the doors. Set the station now. Hopefully Rusty and, um, I forgot, Rusty and Stefan get the, um, Sheldon's murder case. They're good cops. Fucking let Roy near it. See the fucking bread. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. It's all coming to a head, so they're gonna take you out. So Jack's, I guess, working on taking out the whole thing. <laughs> hey, he's dead. I mean, ah, <coughs> mm, so sad. <coughs> hey! Cole, you made it! What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. Ha <laughs> ha! Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Wait, do I get a switch? Ooh. Eww. Okay. I don't think this is any use to us. Okay, well. Stephane. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Oh, I'll shit on him. Good doctor has been marking this map. Hmm. 
No, up more. Up. No, up. Just, she just, God, just not the best. No, no. Okay. Edward Grove. McCarthy Vista. What is that? Crescent Heights. A railroad? Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Well, R Rancho Escondido was the one that burned down. I think Crescent Heights and McCarthy Vista had a bunch of fires, too. Whitnall Freeway. New houses all being the built in the path of the freeway? Why would they do that? Get the extra money? Okay, let's do this one. Might be it. The face of progress, says the mayor. Sure, sure you do. You're literally that in business with them. damn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Okay, Harlan. so it's a different one. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. Except that Jack Kelso, Kelso took care of you, so there's that. Okay. <laughs> I hate you so much, Fontaine. I H. Nice Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. I will It's another Dr. F. I stepped over his nasty corpse. Corpses are nasty. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Properties you wanted accounted for. The associate, my associate, has visited each and every made a thorough survey. From what he tells me, I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. Sawyer. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Thought redactions. Case of blank. Oh man, the subject was born into an Oklahoma sharecrop farming family. Uh, failed during the Dust Bowls of the 30s and led to the family being evicted. Uh, undertook the journey west to California. Subject's mother and younger brother died of starvation. Died of starvation while on the road. The father found work as a stuntman in low-budget cowboy films. 
Subject was urged to pr pursue the same career, but a naturally reserved disposition and physical awkwardness made this difficult. He trained as a gas fitter and showed some mechanical aptitude, but was drafted in the Marines at the outbreak of the war. He served until... something. Uh, father died November 45, subject returned from service and to live alone on the property. When we referred to the physician, he was suffering from an acute case of battle fatigue manifested in sensory flashbacks, disturbed attention, and sleep disturbance. The subject described symptoms such as vision impairment, headache, tachypnoia, I don't know, tachycardia, and excessive sweating. He experienced phantom physical sensations when in a wakeful state and intense nightmares when sleeping. Unable to disassociate memory from reality, frequently regressing to the trauma of something. During early diagnostic sessions, the subject merely to feeling a morbid fear and deep fascination with fire. He had an, entered an advanced state of catatonia, which could not be overcome by psychotherapy alone. Hmm. Drug treatment with, with uh, hypnotherapy sessions. They were once every they were they were two weeks, but the public got updated. Let's see. Morphine was administered to counteract symptoms of anxiety. Treatment was ineffective. No change in the frequency or severity of flashbacks. Additional sessions were scheduled. Let's see. And then he had diminished physical symptoms but became highly susceptible to suggestion and ideation. He was kept at this physician's clinic more frequently in order to prevent him harming himself or others. Additional medication was prescribed and sessions were scheduled once every three to four days. Catharsis exercises were undertaken where he, in a controlled environment, was put in a controlled environment and did something. I hate the reaction stuff. I reported conflict between feelings of hopelessness and feelings of serenity brought on by volunteer work. Fighting persistent delusions and paranoid schizoid tendencies and managing with the help of drug treatment and therapy and keeping them at bay. However, is the opinion that any relaxation of these treatments would be dangerous. The subject could, without continuing guidance, slip back into the clutches of his many demons and enter a new antisocial state of psychopathy. Jesus. Like Richard Chase level psycho. he come in from? Yeah, that's my way, right? So he just came in this way and around, went around the back. Board. Okay, but really nothing. Oop, 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 oop. This nothing. Okay. <laughs> Super glitch. Hey, that looks familiar. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. That really glitchy there, Cole. Is there something more in here I didn't see? Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Makes sense. How was that? Okay. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. 
He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead, and Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Okie cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. My Jack now. Am I switching between the two for this last mission? It's pretty cool. Guess nobody's home. Mm-hmm. I'm almost gonna leave then, right? That's what you do. I don't have my gun on me. I don't have my gun on me. Why you have no gun? Storage room. Okay. This is, uh, <laughs> well, I've watched a lot of crime dramas. Crawl, kill, insect spray. All right. Most guys bring home a forty-five or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Right. Your arm is still dripping blood. You didn't bandage that up at all. You literally could bleed out, dude. Oh, hey, I have a reflection. That's nice. What am I looking at? Oh, just infect cigarettes. That's not helpful. Why? Why is it the really like disorganized ones? The, the, the. Because there's like two, and I don't know what other term to call them. But like when it comes to serial killers, it's organized and disorganized. Like Dahmer and Ed Kemper are organized, and then like Richard Chase is like disorganized. Why? Why does it come to disorganized ones? Why are they just so, so fucking crazy? <laughs> like they're just so stereotypically fucking crazy, <laughs> and they always live in the pigsty. It's like good God. There's something. I mean, there's probably an easy connection there, but it's like what? The, why? Quite a flock you got here, kid. A strange obsession. Right, well. Mm, pump room exit. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Tunnel rat, yep. Makes sense. Hard to track him down. Fucking flyers. Did you have to refold that, Jack? Well, that moss kill.
There we go. Flyers, probably nothing. Oh, these old damn houses are so creepy. What is that? Oh, dude, I'm not gonna know. I need to get back inside. The There's only way I can finish this thing is to put a name to that bastard. There's not a shed, though. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's fine. I just want to the shed. I know those faces. There's Cole. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Oh, who? Oh my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. You're gonna get ambushed. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. Oh, my God. Okay. It's like, don't get ambushed. Don't get ambushed. Oh, and I feel bad. Well, kind of like the problem with the KPL calling car 11K11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. The A's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K and Roger we'll go that. three. What the hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest I on Sunset exactly Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described that as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number four. Jack. William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. I picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Okay, so this is what he's doing. The cops are gonna come after him while he goes after Ira. So the cops are gonna probably also catch Ira and get Elsa out of there. He's somehow manipulating the whole thing to get back. That's Kelso's car. Go, Kelso, go. Go, go, go. Oh, Kelso, this is kind of playing a dangerous game. I mean, I don't all know units, Sham, all can win. reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Suspect vehicle to be disabled immediately. If necessary, use of deadly force is authorized. Ah, shit! Ah, the that's a horrible driver. Headed west on 5th Street. Repeat, the Chevy Fleet Line Navy Blue. Westbound on 5th Street. Jesus Christ! How many cops do these guys own? Not the them. All units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. It is shot number one. Then they were gonna. All units, suspect vehicle sighted heading northeast toward Third Street on the embankment between Third and Fourth. All units, suspect vehicle is now northbound on Los Angeles passing. You can't drive over that crap either. Car 66 Adam, 77 Adam, go to First and Alameda. Car 19 William, go to First and Vegas. Repeat First and Vegas. Get us to handle, identify, go with three. No. Second suspect vehicle shot one three five one six. Come on. Jesus 
movement. It's probably the husband. <laughs> Hopefully it's the husband. Hopefully it's not the children. Okay, I can't skip that scene. Damn it. That's Kelso's car. Yeah, let's go. Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. Oh, I got, got it. Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Oh, I'm Jack now. Oh, an instant firefight. Christ. Mr. 
Mister. Come get me. Keep on going, Jack. Give yourself a minute. Okay, get the color black. There you go. Left the slug in this one over here. I, mean, I guess we're Let's kind of cleaning up the police department as is, though, aren't we? Right. Throw out the guns! We step on it. You want me? You got me. He's there, right there! Kill him! Okay, nice death rattle. Um Is there like a way? There really isn't. I was really hoping there was like a way to go and a way not to go. Oh, there is. Oh, thank goodness. I don't remember what the map said. An inch to the left, and you would have had me, boys. Hmm. I must have to go down. Nope, nope, Jack. Jack, I need you to go down in here. I think we're supposed to go down here, Jack. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. The water would not be this clean. Oh no, it's the river. Yeah, it might be this clean. Oh, fun time. Throw out the guns! Do you think you can hold out? Wait, I'm literally coming off you guys. Oh my I need you alive. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead.
You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Eyes open. Now, he's around here somewhere. Pretty sure. No, he's there, right there. Kill him. No past Okay. Maybe a ladder or something then. Right? I think he's there. Light this is what I'm good at. There! Somebody tag that son of a bitch, will ya? Who where is that guy? I don't even literally see anyone on my minimap at all. You want me? You got me. Step on. Jack, where do I go? Eyes open. Now he's around here somewhere. Come on! Damn it. No, he's there, right there. Kill him. Do you hear maybe? No, I came in this map. Turned up guy still there? Yeah. Well, I came in. Throw out the guns! Uh, they're kind of glitched. As soon as he pokes his head out, we'll step on it. There! Light him up! Oh, well. Here we go. There we go. You okay. want me? You got me. Catch a bullet, you son of a bitch! How long do you think you can hold out? Go down this way. Is there anything in here, real quick? No. Cool. I don't know why I'm looting. This isn't a looting game. Just habit. The water's rising. Where is he? You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Damn it. Oh. Where the hell do I go? Jack, you got this. Just missed. Catch a bullet. Damn it. Up there. Oh, you motherfucker. Right, you're dead. Get out of cover. Thank you. That you would have had me, boys. Oops. 
that's broken through. Never mind. Damn, so I mean, she's still Jack, you're just really annoying and hard to kill, apparently. Alright. Nope, not there, huh? Okay. Let's be down the other end. Are you okay, Elsa? princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why no. would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? No. I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. Look. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. That's bad, actually. Don't. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. war for God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. You don't understand. I don't like blame you, over there. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get it back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. Oh, I'm okay. proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! It's so bad, but I mean... Maybe it's kinder? I don't know. Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! I'm out of morphine! Help! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. I'm gonna bet money that the orders came down from up top to burn the cave. That man. He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here. I'll get this great. Hey, they will be crazy when they die. You're first. Hand her up. Get out of here. You're not here. I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. Are you serious? That's how this ends?
Really? It ends with Cole dying? Are you shitting me? Oh, why the fuck is Roy there? <laughs> that might not have been Roy, actually. No, no, maybe it's not Roy. Good. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor. I fucking hate you, Roy. And through his personal bravery, achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Ryan, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil the corruption love. of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. Of all the people to give the fucking a eulogy, you have Roy do it? A good father. And may I say, a good friend. I'm really tired of crying at the end of games. <laughs> also, what the hell? You have Roy do the eulogy? It went fucking universe. Is that okay? That's never okay. He's literally the biggest piece of crap. God. Damn it. Uh... And of course, with Ira dead and with uh, Cole dead... Slept on the fucking rug. Roy, the police chief, the mayor, they're not seeing any fucking consequences for their corruption. God, that, that irritates me. <laughs> uh, it's too, too close to life. Corruption doesn't really ever end, and... Damn, that's annoying, though. Ugh. Hard crying at the end of games. <laughs> That's really annoying. God, dang, that's not what I expected for the ending at all. I'm gonna look real quick and see if there's any after credit scenes or whatever. Oh my god. There is an after credit scene, okay. Go away. Cutscene. That's so ah. It's so uh. I just. I want. I want. I want something more. Not cohesive. It's better. More final. That's not really. It's like well, Cole died, so the story's over. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> Fucking no. How about how about no on that on that one? Damn. Ira never would have been able to stand trial though as a witness with his um psychotic schizophrenia. It wasn't just Fontaine and Monroe though, like there were other people and they're just not getting punished. I hate that so much. That that happens. You know, real scumbags just get let off the hook all the time. Can I? Skip the credits at all and just go to the scene. No, can make it go faster. Oh. 
No? God dang it. It's so irritating though. Oh, so irritating. <laughs> oh, set. All right. Um, trying to think. End game thoughts here about the game. It was really good. It was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. To be honest, my husband said I should play it because he knows that um, how much I like like I like crime drama stuff and I find it fascinating. It was gonna be my original field of work. There, I guess it's a PS3 port too, which explains some of the jank because you only find like on early PS3 games. But oh my god, I can't just fast forward this. It's so annoying. Also, yeah, it's like I can't skip cutscenes and fast forward things because PS3 jank. All the little hidden loading screens there. I'm looking to see is there any. Whoopsie. <sighs> Man. It's almost ten minutes of just credits. God dang it. I don't have enough chit chat to fill up ten minutes, so Y'all are stuck. God. I will say the way that, um, I guess Jack and the boys, because we never got the other three's names, really. I think we did, like, in random one case. Um, but... I don't... Seriously, thing, like, I don't... Always dies like about three hours into my stream. It's good, like, hey, you need to probably end soon. Um, what was I saying? Right, Jack. So what Jack, yeah. Jack and the boys did by killing, because he was gonna probably kill Fontaine. Let's be honest. And he, <laughs> he kind of murdered a bunch of people, and then was gonna leave Far uh, Harlan, not Harlan, uh, Leland to die. I get why he did it. I 100% get why he did it. Because, like, I mean, there's a lot of evidence, and I'm sure it's burned and destroyed, that had um the the police chief in there, and the mayor, and the vice president of Life and Fire was in there. So, I mean, the police chief and the mayor alone, if he wasn't, they weren't going to get prosecuted by the law. That was not going to happen at all. I do hope Peterson gets in as the DA though because it'd be really nice to um <sighs> it'd be nice to even end on that like Peterson gets in because at least he's going to clean up the whole corruption like there's a the hopeful bit there. Peterson was at the funeral but like we don't ever really know did he get in to clean up? Who knows? It's kind of left open. All, all the pedestrians are probably killed. <laughs> I didn't kill that many pedestrians. I just, there was a lot, look. There was a lot. There was a lot of property damage. <laughs> the car got broken a few times. That's why I don't drive. I just, I'm really bad at video game driving. <sighs> well. Mm hmm. Chat, if you have, um, says I don't have a game lined up. I didn't actually know if there's a meeting more after arson. So I don't have a game lined up for next Tuesday. Because Sunday's Resident Evil. So we don't have anything lined up for Tuesday. Which is a thing. So if you can think of a game you want me to play. Uh, if you're watching this live, pop it in chat. If you're watching it on YouTube. Because it will be posted to YouTube. 
please put in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, if it's like a brand new one that hasn't come out yet, yeah, it's I'm not gonna play it right away. This is <laughs> it's the way that works. But I don't I don't really have anything lined up right away. I will probably look, now that I'm done with Ellie Noir, if I can get, if I can stream Final Fantasy 7 on Tuesday and finish that up, or if it's still blocked. Finishing blocked scenes. That's stupid. I think it's still blocked for right now. The problem is too is like that game came out like last year and it's still blocked. And I guess um Persona Five, the end of it, it's four years old, it's still blocked. Which is silly and stupid, and I'm a little frustrated with that, but whatever. It sits there and it waits, and it waits, so. I don't know, I'm trying to think. What do I have in my library? Because I just, I don't really have something lined up, and there's not like a giant release coming out. I mean, other than Resident Evil 8, and we're already working on that, but. That was like the big release <laughs> for a while. I don't have anything really massive coming for a bit. Oh, PlayStation, hush. Hush your mouth. It's like, did you know you can buy a PS5? I'm like, no, you can't. Never mind. Transistor, transistor shortage. Hmm. The music is pretty baller, though. I played Watch Dogs Legion. <laughs> That's frustrating. It's like, well, have you played these? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> have you played, like, Horizon Zero Dawn? Yep. Played Watch Dogs Legion, played um, Ghost of Tsushima, I've watched Last of Us Part 2, I'm not going to play that because that was a hell of a playthrough to get through just watching. I just know... I had to leave the room a couple times because it was just destroying me. Hmm... How do I find my library on my phone? Which is not something I normally do. My PlayStation? Game library. Ha! Ah! Simple! You guys feeling like horror? What are you, what are you feeling like? <laughs> should be, should be close. Try very hard to like fill up the time with mindless chit chat because I'm very bad at that. I have Resident Evil Village. That's fucking dark. <laughs> it's 
It's horribly dark. Here it is. How about this for a headline? Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, he didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. You know, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Uh, Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? That's what happened. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Fair. Tom. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. We should probably treat our vets fucking better. <laughs> like literally, we kind of we kind of don't do a good job with that. I mean, we do, like, some things. Like, some things are good. Like, they get, um, the, the VA has a great mortgage program, and they do a lot of benefits, but they're, like, you know, there's issues, and we don't do as much as we should. We should probably do more. But that's interesting that Courtney was the one that brought it up. So, but that's it. It's done. It's over. It's gone. So, um, I'm going to leave suggestions completely open until Sunday um, and then during Sunday's stream it will have a poll a poll, a poll a poll on Twitter if I get suggestions I'll pop them in there if not I will just probably pick a few from my library I have a few that, I, that could be good playthroughs if I did them um, Problem is too like I also have a, apparently 104 games in my library, <laughs> so that's the thing. Eek. Um. So have a good weekend. I will see you guys on Sunday. We'll be doing more Resident Evil. If you have game suggestions, please let me know. I'm always willing to take them. See you later.